Welcome back. Today we have a special treat. We have my husband and he is going to unbox his brand new gaming computer. And we picked it up at Best Buy on a Black Friday deal and we can't wait to share it with you. But he is my resident technical expert. Uh -oh. So <laughs> yes, I'm going to give him the the space right and I'll be back after see you guys hi I'm Jamie and I'm gonna be opening up this brand new Corsair a7300 which has a RTX 4090 which is the top of the line Nvidia video card a high-end uh, AMD processor too so the total specs on it it's got 64 gigs of RAM of the Dominator Platinum series DDR 5600 uh, RAM on it and it also has IQ uh, RGB lighting system inside of it I think the IQ system can you can control other things with it as well uh, with the IQ system if you're into RGB coloring so let's get this thing open I'm so excited for you <laughs> <laughs> now the way we happened to have gotten this computer was I actually had bought another computer from Best Buy it was a cyber power computer and it had a 4070 uh, NVIDIA card in it. And it was an i9 processor. This is an AMD processor. Oh look, it says, thank you for choosing the Corsair Vengeance PC. Uh, and has their support number on it. Well, I was really enjoying the CyberPower uh, computer. It was a pretty good deal. It only cost $20.99. This is your last computer? My last computer, yeah. yeah. And it was doing pretty well. But then all of a sudden, it decided not to work. It just wouldn't even power on. And before it started not powering on, I started to see some flaky behavior on it. Like uh, when you would boot it up, it would sometimes boot up, sometimes it would go into the unmountable disk thing in Windows. And I looked it up on uh, to see what that was all about. And it was basically just giving me ideas that it was gonna have some problems. So uh, I took it in to get serviced. And they sent it back because it was under warranty. This is with the Geek Squad at Best Buy. Yeah, the Geek Squad at Best Buy. And they uh, sent it back in to, uh, to uh, Cyber Power PC to get it repaired. And next thing you know, they said, it's unrepairable. We're going to give you the store credit for it. The full refund. Full refund of yeah. the computer, which we could apply to buying another computer at Best Buy. And I already paid off this computer, so I yeah. thought, so, why not? Upgrade him. <laughs> right, so we, we thought, well, let's get an upgrade, right? Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> so I'm like, are you serious to get an upgrade? She goes, yeah, try to see if you can get your dream computer. Said, oh my gosh, Corsair have a, a great reputation. And so I looked at the Corsairs and uh, this is the one I ended up with. What I bought the one with the AMD versus the one with the Intel processor because the AMD one is apparently cooler when it runs overall. The CPU and the the power supply and everything that's in this computer should keep it nice and cool. And that's one of the things with, with these kind of computers with a gaming card in them, they get really hot. But um, I really don't know what it's going to be like because I just got it. So we're going to try it out and hopefully this one will stick. This right. will we'll let you one. know. Because yeah. on his channel already, we have the first computer that he had. And I could probably upload that video to my channel too so you could see what he had before it decided to die. Here, you go ahead and keep uh -huh. going. I want to see if your uh, viewers have any questions. Oh, so yeah. Here's Let a me quick, go check and see if you guys have this questions. This is like the Jumbo Quick Start Guide, right? Unpacking instructions. So you want to take out this thing on the corner, and then you want to remove some of the uh, screws on the left side so you un unpack the foam that comes inside of the inside of it. We'll, we'll show you all of this. And then you put the glass back on, and then you hook it up to you know your power and everything. But I won't show you that part. We're just going to take it out of the box. Do you need help? Uh, well, a little bit. Maybe we're we're going to keep the box because in you just case, don't know. you never know. These things, it's you not a know. matter of if your computer will fail. It's usually when will your computer fail because they're computers. So yeah. And you want to make sure you get a great uh, warranty service. I can't say enough about the Best Buy service. I've always had great service with them. All right, let's get that out of there. Okay. As a matter of fact, a long time ago, we bought my son a laptop computer when he was a young child. And the computer was specially designed with the keyboards that had like a cover on them so that, the, you know, if they spilled some juice on it or whatever, it would be fine. 
And after a while, he actually wore it out from playing with it so much. So we took it in to get serviced, and they completely replaced it. Uh, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh. You don't have to do that. I don't have to do that? No, it comes right off. It's open in the bottom. Oh. Yeah. Like all afraid. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to cut it. Whoa. There it is. All right. Look at that. It has a little. Those unpacking instructions. How to set up your PC instructions set here. And then, I, what does it say? I have to unscrew this the cord. I have to uh, unscrew this, so let me switch sides. You need a screwdriver? No, I think I just uh, twist it off. It's just a little thing that holds the panel on, apparently. It has a latch thing here. Oh, look, is this a sticker or what is this? I don't know. Let's turn it. Thanks for joining the Corsair family. Your new system represents our dedication to creating high quality gear and technologies for gamers, content creators, and PC enthusiasts. Never forget that our dedicated support team is always here for you. They're available 24 7. That's actually pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 365 days a year. Feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions or requests. And you can contact us, and they leave their phone number, or by email, or I'm at help. really gentle with this, too. And they've given you a personalized code for 10% off on your next purchase. We buy a lot of Corsair equipment. <laughs> So, Elgato. Elgato. Yeah. Uh, Elgato. Um, but Corsair bought Elgato, didn't they? Yep. Yeah, so we have this special little code now. So any more goodies that we decide to buy, we we're going to do that with that. There we go. Just Did you get it off? It out. Yeah. You want to show them the inside? Uh, yeah, we'll be showing the inside. So, yeah, once you figure out how, to, how uh, to open it, it's really not that hard. It's just that initial learning curve. Um, Cool. So, excuse me. All right. So packing material, you want to they pack this up so that nothing moves while they ship it. So you want to be kind of careful with taking this stuff out. It's packed in here pretty well. Let's take it out from this side. Oh there wow. Yeah, they want to make. Doesn't sure. it have to be like static proof stuff? Um, it'll be fine. I thought you had to have special stuff. Okay, so it's a Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4090. Ooh, look at this. Yes, this is a, I'm glad you saw that. <laughs> so this is, for the, this Vengeance uh, case is pretty popular. It's a 4000 series case. And one of the things about it that's cool is that you can take off this uh, filter to clean it. From, so it keeps the fans nice and clean, and it's a little magnetic attachment. It's got lots of air. Yep, and then this part comes off too. Here we go, it just pops off. Just like that. Uh, and this gives you access to the this filter thing here too, so you can take this off. Oh my god, you've got four fans in here. Yeah, there's actually three fans Wait. for the chassis and two fans for the uh, CPU cooler. It's water cooled. Oh, I see. There's one on. There's no. There's more. There's one, two, three, four, five, six fans. Oh, there's an exhaust fan on the end. Yeah. There's so there's three fans, <laughs> for, lot of fans for bringing the air baby. in. Two fans up here that you can't see that blows the air up this way from the, for the water cooled system. And then over here is the exhaust fan for the rest of it. And if you go to Corsair's website and check out their videos on it. There's a, they'll show you how, how it all, you know, all these different parts, how you can work with them. There's also some videos on YouTube that uh, kind of give it in a review for the cooling system part of it. And the, the guy that did it did a temperature check uh, around the computer as it was, you know, turned on and he could see that the, uh, you know, the flow of the heat was, was pretty good on this one. The only place where it was a little bit warm was down down here in the bottom. This A7300 comes with an AMD 7900X processor, which is pretty good. You could you could even get a better one, which is the uh, 7950X3D, which is more specific for uh, gaming and uh, content creators. Um, but for this price, 
uh, the 7900 is perfectly fine. Um, it has the, uh, this one has the uh, Gigabyte uh, GeForce RTX 4090 in it. Um, depending on what's available, you may get a different uh, 4090 card in it. It also has 64 gigs of uh, Dominator, uh, Vengeance Dominator RAM in it at uh, 5600. And uh, the power supply is RM1000E, really nice uh, quality feel of the build here. Uh, so it has an RM1000E and it also has a couple of different additional slots for additional storage. And this side has a little bit of extra space as well if you want to add even more. Probably can't hear you from behind. If you want to add more storage, sorry about that. <laughs> um, Maybe turn it around so they can see it. Yeah, one more time. Around and around. I need right. like a lazy Susan. <laughs> right? Oh, that's a great idea. <clears throat> for unboxings? Lazy Susan? Right. You can't see it here, but right there, there's the uh, the Lightning uh, Gen 5 2 terabyte storage in there. And it has like a like a cooling, uh, like a uh, heat sink on it. You can even get those with uh, additional like air cooling or, or uh, like a little cooling setup for some of the special particular ones that they get. There's all kinds of options you could pick from if you custom build them. As a pre-built, I mean, this is really, really nice and I'm really excited to, to get to playing with it. As far as some of the connectivity that it has on it, right out of the, right off the top, it has a, a USB-C and a USB-A. I'm pretty sure this is probably the 3.2 on it. I didn't actually look at the very specific, so either 3.0 or 3.2. It's a, uh, the microprocessor is an AMD 9700, and like I was saying earlier, you could get an AMD 79, no, sorry, 9750 or 7950, I might have to be dyslexic there, uh, X3D, which is really more for content creators and video gamers too, because it's supposed to be like the best, but the difference in performance is not that, not that much, so this is perfectly enough for me. Are you excited to get it in action? I can't wait to get this thing connected. <laughs> and, and so you go ahead. It's so nice. I mean, and the quality of this case, it does not feel flimsy at all. It is feels really well built. Like, I can't believe how great love, this feels. I love this thing. <laughs> this is this thing. It's so cool. simple, right? Yeah. So, um, and of course you can't see with all the lights on, but all these fans, all of them have RGB control through the IQ system. From Corsair. And, and what is all this stuff, my dear? I see what? it's got some kind of gear antennas. It's like oh yeah, yeah, that's the antennas for the. Is it like the... old school bunny ears or something? Yeah, I think the the motherboard is a. So here's a cord. <gasps> Seven sixty motherboard. Here. This one in particular is the oops MSI. Where do these go? The MSI motherboard versus uh, ASUS mo uh, motherboard. Is that good or bad? Oh, they're they're both of them are very very comparable. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So here's your bunny ears. Yeah, you can have all kinds of like Aorus. Uh, there's there's a bunch of different models, and it's really about some of the features that you get with the motherboard. Uh, like for example, you can get motherboards that don't actually have built-in Wi Wi-Fi or yeah Wi-Fi connectivity. So you can get the motherboard which says it's going to be a Wi-Fi model of the motherboard. Yeah, they just screw right in. So basically, you're ready to go plug and play, yeah. upload your game. Your node war starts in two minutes, so uh, you should probably sign it's, it's, off. It's prep, honey. No worries. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, um, I just have to get my my buffs and stuff set up, and so it means I have to go to my place to get my buffs. But uh, yeah, um, one thing that I heard about in some of the reviews on this is uh, when they had problems with Wi-Fi connectivity was about how they installed the these antennas. So if you get one of these or any motherboard that has Wi-Fi built into it, make sure that your connections for your, for your Wi-Fi antennas are, are properly set up because obviously if you're going to do Wi-Fi connectivity, you want to have you know, good signal. Um, so the antennas are important. Of course, it does have Ethernet port on it, which is, a, it says two and a half gig uh, Ethernet port on it, which is plenty for home use because most of your home use is going to be about, the maximum will be about one gig, maybe two gigs if you're really paying top end for the connectivity. 
It also has a couple additional USB-C connectors in here and four USB-A connectors on it. It also has sound connections on it. So you can put a 5.1 type of system on it. And on your, on your video card, you have uh, one HDMI and three display ports. And uh, what's, what's really kind of interesting on this one is they actually put little covers on the additional display ports because I guess they assume you probably will have two monitors or maybe one monitor but of either type, but I like that. Keeps uh, it from getting dust in it. Yeah, I, I will be using both the display ports. Yeah, it's really nice. And there's, even on the bottom, there's more Another filters. Another filter to clean. Yeah, this is under the, this is for the, um, for the CPU. I'm sorry, for the power supply. So, you know, every once in a while, I wanna make sure you, you know, take care of your uh, fan and airflow on these and take off these filters and clean them. Excellent. Keep your machine running nice and clean and, and cool. Because what happens when the computers get too hot is they'll back off and the performance will drop. So that's why it's really important to have good cooling in your high-end uh, gaming computers. All right, well, thank you for uh, watching. and YouTube, thank you so much for enjoying this unboxing with my technical husband. And next week we'll get back to you with another yeah. technical surprise that we have. And, and TikTok, thank you. Thank you, TikTok. All the followers, I will continue TikTok living.